Hi, this is Brandon from Aramax. Today I'll be showing you how to do the recommended maintenance on an RP50 half horsepower dual piston compressor. The tools we are using today are a 532nd Allen wrench, 8th inch Allen wrench, a flat blade screwdriver, a 516th nut driver, a small pick tool, and a marker. Included with this kit are two cylinder sleeves, two piston cups, two cylinder O-rings, two head O-rings, four tube O-rings, four leaf valves, two of them are bent, Also, eight screws are included with this kit, but the four with the Torx head you will not be using. Use a 532nd Allen wrench to remove the two screws holding down the manifold. Remove and save the two bushings underneath the manifold. Next, use a 532nd Allen wrench to remove the remaining six screws on the top of the cylinder head. Now, make a unique mark on each side of the cylinder head. This will help when reassembling. Remove the head covers, followed by the valve plate assembly. Starting with one valve plate, separate the valve plate from the valve tubes. Next, remove the leaf valves, but before removing the screws, mark the position where the leaf valves are pointing on the valve plate. Remove the screws using a flat blade screwdriver and a 5 16 nut driver. Discard the leaf valves, but save the screw, two flat washers, and nut. Use a small pick tool to remove the head O-ring and cylinder O-ring. Install the new leaf valves from the maintenance kit. Grab a new bent leaf valve and reuse the washer and screw. Install the leaf valve on the bottom of the valve plate with the bend facing up and pointing towards the mark you made earlier. While holding the screw in place, flip the valve plate over and install a new flat leaf valve, followed by the flat washer and nut. Tighten using a flat head screwdriver and 5 16 nut driver. Confirm that both leaf valves are pointing to the marks you made earlier and are covering the proper holes in the valve plate. Next, remove the valve tubes from the second valve plate. Remove the tube O-rings on each valve tube using a small pick tool and replace with new ones from the maintenance kit. Reinstall each tube onto the first valve plate. Next, repeat this process for the second valve plate. Mark the position of each leaf valve on the valve plate. Discard the leaf valves, but save the screw, two flat washers, and nut. Remove the O-rings. Reinstall the new leaf valves. Once completed with the second valve plate, reinstall back onto the valve tubes. Make sure the marks you made earlier are on the same side. Starting with one cylinder, use one eighth inch Allen wrench to remove the two screws from the piston. Next, remove the cylinder sleeve. Remove and discard the worn piston cup and install the new one from the maintenance kit. Next, firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve. Flip over to ensure the piston cup is evenly aligned. Reinstall the cylinder sleeve onto the piston and line up the holes. Use the two new screws supplied with your maintenance kit to reinstall your piston cup. Repeat this process for the second cylinder. 
Remove the two screws from the piston. Remove the cylinder and piston cup and apply new ones. Firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve and ensure even alignment. Reinstall the cylinder onto the piston using the two new screws supplied with the kit. Install the two new cylinder O-rings from the maintenance kit onto the bottom of the valve plate. Flip the valve plate back onto the cylinder sleeves, ensuring the marks you made earlier line up. Push down firmly to secure into place. Then install the two new head O-rings onto the top of the valve plate. Next, align the head covers on the top of the valve plates. Confirm the marks on the head cover are the same as the valve plates. Not doing so will damage the leaf valves. Install the six cap screws to secure the head covers on the valve plates. Tighten down using a 532nd Allen wrench. We recommend going back and forth between screws to ensure the screws are securely in place. Be sure not to over tighten. Reuse the two bushings and place onto the two remaining holes in the head assembly. Reinstall the manifold using the two remaining screws. Tighten down using a 532nd Allen wrench. Be sure to go back and forth to ensure screws are securely in place. This completes the maintenance of your RP50 compressor. At this time, we recommend changing the air filter on your compressor. Simply hold the base of the air filter and turn the top clockwise to remove the air filter cap. Replace the old filter with a new one. This should be done every three to six months. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.